Hi guys, I'm Holly from Venmo and today we're reviewing the Suicide Mods Nightmare RDA. <laughs> We've got 28mm by 35mm, including the 510 pin. It's got a 7mm juice well. Other reviewers have said it's 8mm, but it's not on the official Suicide Mods website. It's a 7 so I'm going with 7 Sorry. It's extra wide. It is really big. With single screw clamps, two of which. It's bottom airflow with dual air diffusers. It's got ver 16 vertical slits for the airflow, eight on either side, and there is also a break between the fours on either side. You can turn the airflow all the way down to zero, or have all 16 open. There is also a restrictor, so it doesn't turn all the way around. Cut the airflow off, and it stops. Put the airflow fully open, and it stops, which can be really good for trying to get your the RDA on or off. It has a quick release squonk pin. Basically, right, if we look on bottom, We've got a screw here, where well you've got a, a squonk pin built in. Probably you can take it out, but you've got your squonk pin in. You've got your post screw there, and you've got two small Allen keys here. Mine's currently set to squonk, but if you release the pins a little bit, it will close the squonking system, therefore it's not squonkable anymore. And then you can open the squonk again, because that's the entire point. And that's pretty much all I've got to say, it's really good, I've built on it God knows how many times I've really enjoyed playing with it. With everything, you have to change the airflow, but with pretty much every build I've done, it produces great flavour and great vapour. But as it's quite a big RDA, my, kind, my brain kind of goes, if you're going to carry a big RDA, build big. And it's truly worked. The best build that I had on it was the quad coiling, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute, but the quad coil flavour was surreal proper full, well not just full mouth, but full lung, my entire, my toes could taste it, I mean it was really good. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do the quad coils, it's a little bit fiddler, a little bit of pain in us. you have to do two sizes or two really smalls, I think I did 2.5mm and 2mm, uh, because two 2.5s wouldn't fit. So I'm going to show you how to do that now guys, I'll do the giveaway regards after the build, so if you want to skip past the build, get gone. I figured you might enjoy a little uh, unpacking as well, so we've also got some O-rings, more O-rings, screws and a low profile drip tip, two Allen keys and the bag. So first thing we're going to need, here I'm building with Clapton wire, so there we are, we've now got four, because we're going to make four coils, we're going to need a two, and a 
There you go guys, I imagine that were the best rebuild car I'd see, it's very fiddler. <clears throat> if you need to move the coils up to get the wick through the smaller coils, do so, but obviously be very careful you don't distort them. As you probably saw in the video, I'm not quite sure because of the lighting, it might have, the, the smaller coils tend to burn lighter. But there is ways like spreading the, coil, the outer coils out a bit to, to uh, lessen that. But I, I think it works just fine. Obviously the smaller coils will burn for the wick faster because they're getting hotter. Um, there you go. And I, I imagine if one or two people saying you did it wrong or blah, blah blah. But that worked really well for me. So there you go. And I should also point out it's not built for quad coiling. That's why it's so tight. But like I did say, pretty much any build on it is decent. If you change the airflow, even a small build works well. I've also built it with four, uh, four mil coils. I've built so many on it and pretty much every one of them are decent. Calling Dylan Marshall. Dylan Marshall, report Dylan Marshall. If you haven't guessed Dylan Marshall, you have won the z -Lide kit. Congratulations. The Nightmare is now up for giveaway. Don't forget all you have to do is make sure you subscribe and comment down below. Read the terms, and read the terms and conditions guys. Because you'll probably have to pay postage, you have to be over 18, yada, yada, yada. So crack on. <laughs> Stay tuned, at some point this week I'm going to upload the Flush Nano review. When I've got time, really busy guy and all. But it will be this week. On Sunday I'm at the Expo. Um... And as always guys, thank you, love you all, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up, all that malarkey, and the most important thing you can do is stay cloudy!